Hello guys, Truth here and today we will be analyzing the autistic evolution of Blue Lock. Blue Lock, written by Manayuke Kaneshiro, took over the sport manga industry due to its unique characters, over-the-top philosophy and cinematic amazing beautiful artwork. However, this legitimately would not have been possible if it wasn't for the artist Yusuke Nomura's autistic genius. Even if you are not a fan of the story, you have to admit that the artwork for Blue Lock is absolutely phenomenal. But truth be told, Mr. Yusuke wasn't always this good at drawing. Yusuke Nomura started his mangaka career as an assistant artist for the manga Attack on Titan. So I know that this is absolutely mind-blowing to a lot of you, trust me I am just as surprised as you are. I had no idea that he worked on Attack on Titan, but if you look at the eyes and the facial expressions, low key I can see the inspiration and how it actually carried over into Blue Lock's own style. So as an artist for Attack on Titan, Nomura was kind of underground in a way because he wasn't really mainstream. We didn't really know about him, he was just another assistant, right? So there's not much evidence for his work and what he's done other than, as I stated before, the style. But it was still good to know that he worked on a mainstream project like Attack on Titan. It kind of shows that he was genuinely destined for greatness, to be honest. And it's also so sweet how the Attack on Titan author does promotional material for Blue Lock. You know, for his past, basically friend assistant to help him out and boost the project a bit. After his experience with Isayama, Mr. Yusuke took a new approach to artwork as he joined teams with writer Yuki Aki to create his first mainstream manga, Dolly Kill Kill. So you may have heard of Dolly Kill Kill already, as this manga is kind of the manga that put him on the map as a mainstream artist. Dolly Kill Kill as a shonen manga is what I would compare to like a modern day Kaiju 8, a solid manga with a mediocre to decent story, stunning art and is fairly well known in the shonen industry but it isn't too mainstream that it has a wide fan base. Dolly Kill Kill's artwork was very good for a weekly action manga. The way in which Mr. Yusuke designs characters, you can tell the difference between who's alien and who's human without even reading the actual story. I have heard that mangaka go out of their way to give the main character a simplistic design because that is the character that they will draw often so they have to be able to do it easily and consistently. The main character's design is very similar to Isagi Yoichi's. The eyes, the mouth, the similar black hair, it is a generic design that only stands out due to the stylized artwork and battles. And that's okay, Isagi has a simple design but that doesn't mean his design is bad by any means. A lot of the characters look very similar to those in Blue Lock, even just the way they tilt their heads, the facial expressions and facial features. It is very reminiscent to Blue Lock and it is pretty much all the same to be honest. Dolly Killer Kill was very successful for Mr. Yusuke as he was able to work on this long running shonen for well over 150 chapters before the project got cancelled. So if you don't know, earlier I did say that Dolly Killer Kill had a decent story, that's not quite true. The story was kinda bad. To be honest, it's kinda ass. It was kinda carried by the artwork for a lot of the manga's production. It was the stunning and different artwork that kinda pushed it, you know. The aesthetic for Dolly Kill Kill essentially is kinda similar to Tokyo Gold in a way, but it wasn't enough to keep it from not being cancelled. But to be honest, having a long run in Shonen for over 150 chapters is a pretty impressive feat for his first project especially because he was kind of carrying it on his back like a lot of mangaka go through two to three to four one shots before they even get their first mainstream opportunity mr yusuke literally did a hundred and fifty chapters of a mainstream manga and he was like the driving force for its success so yeah it was during the serialization of dolly kill kill where i truly believe Mr. Yusuke started to find his own style and come into his own as a true, pure artist. Making the transition from Battle Shonen to full-blown sport manga is not an easy task. Even Mr. Yusuke struggled quite a lot with making the jump in my opinion, as early Blue Lock's art was kinda shaky, it doesn't have the confident stylized feel that it has currently, it's more grounded and fundamental which isn't bad. 
but it didn't allow for Blue Lock to stand out in any way. Sometimes the character models felt a bit off, the artwork wasn't very well shaded or refined, it made some of the drawings feel very flat and generic. For example, compare the character design of Noel Noel in Chapter 1 compared to Chapter 203. No character development is done, no changes, however the character model is a lot different, more stylized and a lot more unique. His motion lines also improved a lot as in early blue lock they were pretty much non-existent. His line work to portray motion is one of the best skills to acquire when drawing a sport manga so I'm glad that he acquired that skill and he does it very well. If you read the first original chapters of blue lock like the first 10, it is kind of evident that it really took him some time to find his style and truly be able to express himself with this body of work. Not to say that the art in the first selection was bad by any means, it most definitely had its moments where it was just like standard good art but I would say that the art became a lot more impressive and consistent during the second to third selection. This is when the auras began to be more unique, the drawings were a lot more detailed, the speed lines were consistent and well done, the hair, the shading, everything improved dramatically during this period and the artwork became far, far more detailed. This is in my opinion one of the reasons as to why the artwork in the anime is so inconsistent during the second selection. It is because of the changes that happened to the artwork during this period. It becomes a lot more detailed and it improves drastically compared to what they were doing before so they couldn't replicate it and make the jump immediately. They couldn't evolve and capture this artistic feel. Perhaps if they had more time, they could have made this possible but it's unfortunate that they didn't. Another thing I wanted to mention is how Blue Lock portrays emotion. Originally, it would just use cross hatching and very dark lines and shading to show what the character is feeling. However, this was very one-sided and mainly based for negative emotions. We never really saw the emotion of full-on sadness. But the grey and white tones add for so much more of a dramatic feel to the artwork that it truly allows you to see the artistic growth before and after. Like Blue Lock's artistic evolution is truly wonderful in my opinion. I don't think there's much artistic development from the third selection to the Neo Egoist League as the art is just genuinely amazing. I don't really have much to complain about. The characters are nearly never off model. The artwork is very consistent and detailed. It's almost impossible to replicate. Blue Lock is easily the best drawn sport manga. I'd say probably even better than Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk is more fundamental. I'd say Blue Lock is more stylized and probably even more detailed. I just think that what Nomura is able to do with Blue Lock is one of one. He was truly made to do this and the evolution of Blue Lock is truly beautiful to see unfold within our own eyes as the story progresses. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a bit different but to grow as a person and to make content that I like and I'm proud of, I do have to try new things and I'm not trying to say that I'm a good artist but as someone that's a beginner in artwork I did want to cover this really really badly as it does intrigue me quite a lot so I if y'all stuck around y'all some weird ones I really really appreciate appreciate y'all for sticking around the next video is gonna be crazy I hope y'all enjoyed this video and look forward to the next one see y'all later